there are two risk assessment methodologies which are, the quantitative methodology and the qualitative methodology. The quantitative methodology provides a picture of the identified risks and their impacts in terms of accurate figures and numbers. The main issue with this methodology is that not all the risks or their aspects could be quantified, or at least not accurately quantified. This process starts with identifying the assets and assigning values to them, then identifying the probability and impact of the threats that could affect them. Many factors should be specifically calculated in order to reach the final result of the assessment. These factors include, the asset valuation, the threat exposure factor, the annual rate of occurrence of the risks, the annual expected loss, and the cost-benefit final analysis of the countermeasures. All these factors shall be quantified, and using mathematical equations, a final assessment result can be reached, that shows the risks after the safeguards and countermeasures have been implemented. The qualitative methodology does not provide any specific figures of the risks, but rather provides their estimated ranks or levels. Organizations usually use this methodology when it is hard to put accurate figures on assets, threats, or safeguards. There are several techniques that could be used to perform a qualitative risk assessment which include, surveys, focus groups and workshops, brainstorming, checklists, interviews, the Delphi technique and others. The goal behind these techniques is to identify the scenarios that would detail how a threat would affect an asset, and how a safeguard would be able to reduce this effect. These scenarios will then be assigned ranks or levels, which could range from 1 to 10, or from low to high, depending on their severity and potential effects on the organization's assets. Both these methodologies provide the organization with important results, but it has to be decided where each one would best be fit. For example, the quantitative methodology would be better if the costs and benefits could be quantified, or if adequate time and experienced personnel are available, or if the risk assessment could be automated. The qualitative methodology on the other hand fits better if the assessment would require guessing and further discussions, or if the opinions of the relevant staff should be considered, or if assigning values to risks is not possible.